The third thing that you need to consider is the boundaries of the constituents. So for example, we're looking again at the unidirectional composites. You have boundaries between the fiber, the interface, and the metrics. So what is going to happen at those interfaces? Do you have a way of describing those interfacial behavior for that domain? Where you are not able to define that, then it becomes a challenge whether you can actually realistically use an RVE modeling approach in your consideration. Why this is important is that the behavior of the constituents are typically quite different. So if you consider a matrix, for example, a polymer matrix with a E glass fiber and with an affected region, which is the interface region, they will all have different constitutive behavior. So how do you handle the fact that you're transiting from a matrix to an interface to a fiber? What is the constitutive behavior of those interfaces between them? Are you able to describe them? Are you able to define them explicitly in order for you to go ahead and use this approach that we're talking about, which is the RVE model? Typically, what people do with composite systems or even you know syntactic form structures is to model them by some sort of a cohesive zone modeling or an XFEM approach in considering what's happening at those interfaces. If you have a way of describing the fractal behavior at those interfaces, then by all means, go ahead and use that approach.